please welcome Greg Hanner, our 2020 ECAR president. Thank you, Ryan, but before you go, I need you back here for one second. I have two more things to share with you, okay? And last year, when you were installed, you saved a cigar for yourself and to enjoy that at the end of your term as president. I'm sure that that is either consumed or very stale, okay? So I want to present to you two cigars, one for you to enjoy and one to share with Matt. And I don't have one for myself because I'm not bringing my suit to the dry cleaners like you two did in Boston. Thank you, Matt. I'm just going to tell everybody in this room, following in Ryan's footsteps is not going to be easy. He neglected to say, you know, some of the things about his past. And I'm hopeful that I'm able to keep the positive momentum that Ryan has created. The interesting thing is, Ryan, Matt, Marilyn, uh, Quincy, Mary, and all of the other past presidents here tonight, I have learned something from each of you. And I almost forgot to share a promise. I will not, I guarantee, I will not be standing up here in 39 minutes like our past president, Quincy Clayton, <laughs> Quincy, back in uh, 2016, Quincy Clayton. And since I'm not very funny or entertaining, I'm going to use a little bit of tech behind me, okay? And I'm going to share a few slides to make some important points, seriously, that, that is that okay, everybody? Can I use a little bit of tech? All right. Before I get into the three ideas, and I'm going to keep this short, one-third of the time of Quincy, okay? I want to recognize someone special. As Senator Paul Formica shared with you during his induction comments earlier, real leaders know the balance of three things, family, business, and association. And what we do is not an easy thing. It is a seven day a week grind. I know that my success would not be what it is, nor would I be the person that I am today without the influence, the partnership of someone special in this room. Those of you who know me know I just love to do deals. And it, it's what light makes me tick. In the BVI, did I have wireless on a boat in the middle of nowhere? I had a satellite connection in my laptop doing deals. I got to tell everybody, I'm really comfortable right now in this room. Not because I'm a good public speaker. I'm not funny. It's not cool. Okay? But I will share with you that I'm really comfortable right now in this room because of Right here, it was 34 years ago, June 28th, 1986, that I made the best deal of my life. Somehow, I got my wife of 34 years, Denise, to marry me. Denise, I want to, please stand up. Please stand up. I want to thank you for supporting me every day and for you putting up with my crazy hours, and for you sharing me with my realtor family. All right, thank you, Denise. I love you. In the next few minutes, I'm gonna spotlight the following three items. One, why 2020 is gonna be a special year. Two, volunteering and membership engagement. We need to talk about that. And three, the final thing, something that we all have in common, and that is time. Let's 
Set the table about talking about these three topics. 2020 is going to be a huge year, and this right now being January, we each look inside of ourselves, and it's a great time to be critical of what we've done, the changes we need to make, and how we each can do better. Let's go, sorry, let's get to know how we got here, okay? I, I need to know our audience a little bit. Please raise your hands if you are a millennial. How many millennials are in this room? Not that many. Wait, we got a real quick. Okay, we've got a few. All right, I'm sorry. I'm gonna apologize for, your, for the social bashing that you get and the bad rap about being the soft generation. I promise it's not your fault. Instead, it's your parents' fault because they just wanted you to feel good all the time. I had one of the biggest surprises. I don't think I've ever been surprised like I was tonight. My wife pulled off a surprise visit by my two daughters who came in from D.C. and Kansas City. I had no clue that they were going to be here. So girls, I'm sorry, you're not in the, you're not in the slide. <laughs> but um, the reality is, as a parent, I can say that we want our kids to feel good all the time. But the reality is, fact, there's winners and there's losers. And we each have the ability to choose which are we going to be. Are we going to be winners or are we going to be losers? So who in this room is a little bit competitive? <laughs> Scott Sawyer, raise your hand. Okay. Where's John Peck? It's weird that two attorneys are very competitive, okay? Um, well, Rob Janovic, 51 race car driver, 2007 NASCAR champion locally here in Waterford. Come on, you're competitive. All right, what's, what's interesting is that I'm sure you'd be bored really quick is if this is how your e-car leadership set our goals. I saw the next slide, I just had to share this with you. I just thought that was funny. That doesn't mean anything, okay? So, the, why is 2020 going to be special? 2020 is the Connecticut Realtors' 100th year in existence. It has been around for a centennial, okay? And your 2020, our 2020 president of CTR, who is here, Joanne Green, she spoke to us, the Connecticut leadership in D.C. on Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday. This week has been a blur. Um, but she talk, spoke to us about why we as agents need to elevate our professionalism. I think that Joanne is spot on. And she has felt a little bit of a rollback um, in the recent decade. Why? I think it's important because we are stewards of our client's most expensive asset. Who gives you the keys to their house? It's crazy. We are custodians of, of our client's property. And we are blessed to have the best jobs on the planet as we have the opportunity to make a difference in people's lives. So fast fact. What eCar is today is not what our leadership did last year. What our leadership did last year is not going to be realized for three to four years. What we are not right now is a byproduct of what our leadership team did three to four years ago. Fast fact, that was a thought that I learned in Boston on that trip in your backyard, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, but the interesting thing is the 2020 leadership team, the committee members that are here and that are going to be serving, and the affiliates, we are going to make eCar what it is in the future, three to four years from now. So now let me move on to my second idea, the idea of volunteering and giving back. eCar has a deep bench, and the, we are a family of givers. I know a lot of things, but it amazes me how many things I don't know. And I do try to learn something new every day. How many people consider themselves introverts? Raise your hand. I'm one of you. 
Okay, I got a microphone in my hand. I'm standing in front of an audience. Okay, I'm one of you. Believe it or not, over the last 10 years of volunteering, what's amazing to me is that being involved with eCar has broadened my horizon 10x without a doubt, and it has created outstanding opportunities. And you know what you see on the screen is so true. What you don't know, you don't know. So two years ago, during my Realtor of the Year interview, I was posed with a question. This is an in-person interview. And I was posed with the question, what would I say to new agents? What's the one thing that I would tell new agents? And it was an easy reflex. Who was on that committee? One of you guys? I, it was a response, easy. Get involved with the e-car. Without a doubt, that was an easy answer. It was, a, it was like a softball was thrown at me. Come on. Um, the, 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 in the year at re review uh, video that you saw earlier, you saw a spotlight put on 150 eCar members and affiliates who participated in committee work. eCar has a deep bench, and when you look at it collectively, that 150 people that you just saw scroll through the screen, they put up 4,443 hours. That was time at the event or eCar, not counting drive time to eCar or the events. By the way, I'm a numbers guy. So, you deserve a round of applause for all of the time that you have invested into this organization. Here's one thing that's really important though in the meat of the second point. We need to share the missed opportunity for the 800 members that are not engaged. We're over a thousand members. We have 800 members that are not engaged. Why? I was one of those 800 for 20 years. I was not engaged. I, why would I want to stand in a room or sit in a room with a bunch of other realtors? That's not going to do anything for me. I'm doing my deals. I just did my book of business and I was, did not know what I didn't know. So I have to extend a special thanks to Paul Higgins for inviting me to, invo in, to join Tech and MLS committee 10 years ago. And uh, it was a breakthrough for me as an individual agent. eCar raised, as you saw in the video earlier, last year alone, $10,000 for the Terry Broder Breast Cancer Research. 100% of every dollar is utilized for that cause. Our community benefit raffle last month raised $17,000. But you know what? I think we can do better. I've asked member services through SUSE to consider forming an idea that I gathered in San Francisco. So I'm not going to take credit for it. It was in a, uh, in a uh, leadership president-elect roundtables. It's called the 100% Club. I'd like to see eCar form it. And the 100% Club is where agents or brokers can pledge to just take five bucks, five dollars out of each closing and make that contribution to the eCar charitable fund, charity fund, and that has the potential to add over $10,000 to charitable causes in our community. That's one of the things I'd like to see happen this year in 2020. The 100% Club. Okay, on my final thought, and it's the third thought, quick story about life, and it's, very fitting for us here in January because it can impact each and every one of us. Um, and this might sound funny, but the better we each are, the stronger we are as an association. So this is an extension of the idea of, you know, what is eCar? We are the fabric that each person, each agent, each broker, each affiliate is the fabric of eCar. So on another trip, Brian, Chicago, yeah. okay, um, I was sitting with Susie and we saw Jesse Isler and he was the NAR mid-year keynote speaker and 
This was in Chicago, and he made an impactful keynote that I want to share with you. And ladies in the room, you might not know Jesse Isler, but you will know this name, Sarah Blakely. Sarah Blakely, the inventor of Spanx. She is also on Shark Tank. They're a power couple, all right? So the interesting thing is Jesse was an 80s rapper, and he ended up, he ended up, uh, he was the co-founder and then sold Marky Jets, and he now owns the Atlanta Hawks. So in Chicago, he shared the fact, and I'm not being morbid or anything, but he shared the fact that the average American, and that's all of us, lives to 72. For those of you over 72, you're blessed. Each one of us are blessed to wake up every morning. Now, for those of us that are under 72, let's do some math. I'm 58. So statistically, and I'm helping you with the math, I've got 14 years left. 14 years means I've only got 14 summers. I really like summers. I've got my two brother-in-laws and my two sister-in-laws here, and we do a lot of boating. We have fun. We work hard. We play hard. 14 summers is not a lot when you think about it. So when you think about it, let's make the time that we each have meaningful. So Jesse had an interesting, when I was doing my thoughts about tonight, I came across this, this thing that was even better than his keynote. It's called the happiness meter. Here's the thing. You can step on the scale in January, a few of us do, and measure your weight. You can look at your wealth by looking at what tax bracket you're in in a few months. IQ tests are available for intelligence. In our lives, we've got a different thing called buckets. And there's six of them. Family, friends, relationships, work, health, uh, and, and wealth. And back to the scale thing, you can step on it and you know whether or not you gained a pound. But mentally, you, you, you can do this little exercise with me. Think about each one of those buckets, family, friends, relationship, work, health, and wealth. How full is your bucket in each one of those? Dump them all right now mentally. This is a mental exercise. Dump them into a blender. And let's pick a number between 1 and 10. Think about it. Be honest. I'm going to turn on the blender. Okay, stop the blender. Right now, what's your number? Where are you on a 1 to 10? A 4? Come on. Hold it. Right there, a 10. I needed it. Hey, I will give you that money I told you I'd give you to do that. Okay. Because many of us were tens until a few things popped in our mind. And right now, there might be something popping into Jay's mind. Those things that just popped into your minds are things that we each need to work on. So go home tonight. Don't forget those things. I can tell you with 100% certainty, I know my number. And I will tell you with 100% certainty, my number is higher due to volunteering. It's absolutely higher. And it has filled some of those buckets. And give back will raise your number because it, I know because it did it for me. So my motto is 20 for 2020 is what you do because it's what you do that matters. It's what you do that makes a difference. It's what you do that people remember. So with that, for those of you with numbers that you like, and if you're happy, clap your hands.